All right, I'm here at Time Outsource for Sports in North Vancouver getting my true VH fitting. So what are we doing here, man? All right, bud, so we're going to sit here and we're going to do a couple scans of the feet here. We're going to get uh, basically a 3D wrap of your foot, which is going to transmit back to True in, in Winnipeg. And basically what they'll do is they'll take a 3D print of your foot, print it out, build a mold off that from the inside out. Wicked. So it's a whole wrap of the foot that's basically a, a true custom skate, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> um, so awesome. what we'll start with is we'll get your right foot on the mat here, okay. um, just so we can kind of uh, give a, a blank template so the scanner can pick it up. Okay. Uh, and you'll see when we do the scan here, it'll, be, it'll come up as an infrared scan. Okay. Um, and as we're doing that, we will uh, get you to lean your knee forward a little bit, just over top of your toes. And what that, what that allows us to do is to basically flare the tendon guard so when they're doing a mold, they can actually see all through here and build the skate so that it actually wraps to your oh. specific timing. Right. So we'll do this one here like this. We'll yep. do this foot just a touch further back there, just so when I'm yep. scanning, we can get yep. uh, basically what they do is they seem it all in the back. Oh, okay. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll then we'll scan here. Yep. You can kind of see where the red and yellow is there. It right. picks up on the on the white mat. Okay. And what that just do is we're going to hit start here is you can see it's going to build like a bit of a, like a plaster, a fake plaster mold of oh, your foot. Okay. <laughs> so as we go around, it'll build and seal around your foot. Oh my God. That is basically your foot there. It's so, ugly. That's yeah, ugly. Yeah. So you can see even your offset ankles, so yeah. they'll, they'll accommodate the skate for that. Okay. Um, your, you see how your tendon guard is flared in there. Right, yeah. And so you, they'll build exactly around that. And then the arch is uh, put in place as well. So you can that's your underfoot there that's too as well. Unreal. So every toe, indentation, everything there. <laughs> so it's a pretty wicked process. And as you can see, we're half done. Yeah, so yeah, we're almost done. We'll switch over to the left foot and we'll do the uh, exact same process. And it is. Just a couple of quick pictures now. And what they'll do for the pictures is we'll do, <clears throat> basically it gives a clear shot of the arch. Okay. So any uh, persistent like heel, uh, bower bumps, heel spurs, uh, bone spurs on the sides of the feet, they yeah. can really pinpoint it and okay. basically punch around that. Okay. So when they're building their mold, they add spots to it and stuff like that. Yeah. So we'll start with the right foot again. Okay. Okay. And I'll always move a couple spots there and the back of the heel. Okay. And the reason being, it allows for a little bit more room. So okay. you're not getting that really tight over top and step. Okay. Which you can get a lot of like other skates where you, if you tie them too tight, they they kind of pinch the top of the foot right. or it causes the lace bite in the oh, tongue. Oh god, I hate that. Yeah. yeah so yeah, what yeah. they'll do is I usually call them problem areas. Okay. And yeah. then they and then the only thing really left to do on this then is take a picture of your order form, which we'll okay. go over the specs too. Awesome. There's a couple things you can fill out. <clears throat> so you're previously in VH skate already, so you kind of know how the process. Um, you said you have had some lace bite issue. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do lace bite issues. Uh, any problems with bower bumps or uh, nope, bonus no, spurs, anything like that. All right, so we got the new True Skates. You guys know I've been on the V8 skates forever, like ever since they came out, and I'm in love with them. Uh, True bought them out, so they're uh, True by Scott Van Horn now. They look pretty sick here. Uh, how you bake them, if you have a conventional oven here, you heat it to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which I've done here, uh, and we're going to bake them for uh, 15 to 20 minutes until they are soft, so I'm going to be checking up on these. Um, and once I get them baked, we'll have some more instructions for you on how to get them properly molded to your foot. But for now, we play the waiting game. Okay, so it's been just over 15 minutes here. We've been checking up on them periodically. And they're, now they're nice and soft, fresh out of the oven. They smell great. Now we're going to put them on our feet, tie them up the normal tightness we'd normally do, and bake them on the feet for 8 to 10 minutes. Best fitting skates in the world. So this is what you want to do. So I'll start with my right foot. If you have not used True Skates or V8 Skates before, you don't just put your foot in straight in like this. So what you want to do, because they fit so well, is you angle your foot like this, and you slide it in, and then once you get it in, that much you turn your foot 
and now you're in. It's not that hard, you just gotta know the right way to do it, okay? And then we're gonna just tie them up right now and then bake them. I don't have any cable. I have no Wi-Fi in this house because I'm moving soon, so I have nothing to do and I'm sweating like a pig. But I'm gonna get real nice skates out of it. They already feel good. There's no pain getting them in, easy to get in. They feel good right away, but being able to get them custom molded and fitting uh, even softer right around your foot is very important. Uh, it was with my last pair of skates. This is my third time doing it, so I know the process and I know how big a deal it is to make sure you do the full eight to 10 minutes here. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes and uh, yeah, man, it's hot. It's so hot in here. So yeah, they feel really good already. I've been through the uh, molding process uh, three or four times already. I have quite a few pairs. This is how we used to do them, the original VH days, and they just broke into the uh, NHL. You would have to trace your foot onto a piece of paper. This is my weird shaped foot. That is a foot, everybody. Not a uh, fossil or footprint of a weird duck. That's my foot. So. That's the way you used to do it, so I had to uh, trace around it. You can see I traced around it like five times because I wanted it to be perfect. Uh, because I have a weird shaped foot, I've always had pain with skates, and I knew I needed to get this process perfect if I was going to be happy. And I'm very happy whenever I'm in the V8 skates. I can be in them for eight hours, like in the Molson Canadian video shoots. I was in them for eight hours at a time, no complaints, never took them off when other people had to take them off. So that's a big bonus, especially as an instructor. Oh, I'm going to take these off now. We're done. I'm going to leave these for a day. Uh, got nothing going on today, so jump on the ice with these tomorrow. Can't wait to rip some ice with these bad boys.